Let's make some box joints really quick and easy. So R for rectangle, and I'm gonna go 0.75 inches, comma 20, enter. B for push pull, and let's pull it up with a height of six inches, enter. Let's go around to the side where we can see what we're doing here. And let's go with, let's see, this is just a single box joint. So L for line, actually select this right here. M for move, control brings up copy. And I'm going to drop this one down 0.5 inches, enter. Now I, I, I can copy this and copy and copy and copy all the way down, but uh, that's repetitive. So why don't we just go X6, enter. It copied my last line six times. That's not enough. X10, enter. That's still not enough. X11, enter. That's it right there. So let's make our cutouts real quick. P for push pull, and let's push this back the same distance as our thickness, which is 0.75 inches, enter. And I can double click to edit this, or to repeat my last push pull measurement. And there you go. I've got half of a finger joint or a box joint really quick. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. I'm going to draw my other piece right in place. R for rectangle from here to here. P for push pull, and let's go ahead and push it this way with a distance of 12. That sounds good. Now this is not a component yet, and because it's not, this is still considered the model. This is model space. This is a component, so it is not a model. All right, let's just drop some color on it real quick using our paint bucket tool. Let's go red right there, just for some contrast. Now, like I said, this is model space. So if I select my component, right click, intersecting faces with the model. And let me move this away and you'll see what happened here. All of my faces that intersected with the model were transferred to the model. So I can P for push pull and I can push this out of the way and double click to repeat my last push pull measurement. Space bar, triple click, G for component, enter. Now I can M for move. Move this one back into place and very quick, very easy, I have a box joint. Now let's actually make this into a box. So that was, you know, it was pretty quick, but I don't want to repeat that entire process just for over here. I can actually duplicate my geometry pretty darn easily. So T for tape measure. I'm going to drop a tape measure where I want my geometry to end, and I'm going to double click to edit this component. P for push pull, and I'm actually going to remove some material so I have room for my finger joints, and I'll show you why in just a second. Space bar, triple click, M for move, control brings up copy, and let's set one side by side like so. Now SketchUp still thinks that this is one single component, obviously there's space in between, these are not touching, but it updated the dotted line boundary box to verify that this is still one component. I drug it along the red axis so I can right click and flip it along the red direction. So now my joint is on the appropriate side. M for move and let's just move this back to our guideline where we need it to stop. Basically I took two pieces and overlapped them and now I can space bar. Whoops, I got out of my part. Let's double click to edit the part. Space bar and use a window to select only these lines, a window to select only those lines, delete it. And I merged those two pieces together. Now they are one single component. Let's delete that. And you can do the same thing with red over here. T for tape measure, drop one over here, space bar, double click to edit the part. P for push pull, let's get some space over here where we need it, space bar, triple click to select everything. M for move, control brings up copy and I'm going to set a copy over here. Right click and flip it along the green direction this time. That's the direction which we just drug this piece. And let's move it back into place along this. Let me back up. Let's move it back into place to this guideline right there. Space bar and now I can use a window. To select these lines only. Use a window to select these lines only. Delete that and I duplicated my geometry over to that side. With my uh, geometry duplicated, let's delete this guideline real quick, I can now copy my 
actual pieces. And if we move, control brings up copy from here over to there. Select this piece. M for move. From here, control brings up copy. Whoops, back up. Select this piece. M for move. From here, control brings up copy to there. There we go. Quick and easy box joint box.